What's up, everyone? Julia here. And Trent. And we're here with episode six of The Legend of Vox Machina. Into Rhyme Cliff. In our last episode, we have Keyleth becoming a fire master through her Aramente. Yeah, that was great. And she got a cool new costume. Cool new costume. Love it. Love it. And Grog and the Bloodlust with Craven's Edge is yes. starting to develop a bit more. He's asking the right questions. But yeah, when he looked at Pike... He's not getting the right answers. Yeah, no, that's, that's not a good sign at all. And uh, Ripley meeting with one of the dragons at the end. Mm. And who freed Thordak? Who... That is the key question. Yeah. It's becoming a very interesting season. Let's check out episode six. Let's go. Go, Grog. Fucking arena. Yeah, it's got to be a drone. Oh. (sighs) I don't like that look. I love it. I love it. No, I don't like it. Because it's like he's possessed. What a sight, covered in blood. Ooh, that had fractures. Yeah. if the sword's playing into his fears at all. Yep. No, it's never going to be satisfied. It's like Galactus, always hungering. Mm. Never satisfied. Never satisfied, yeah. Poor Grog, though, going in, you know, in a Colosseum, doing what he loves, fighting, and then having that vision of just him slaying his friends with Everyone the sword. Everyone dead. <laughs> Didn't get enough sleep? Huh? Of course I did. Mm. Not to sleep, but really nice dreams. Great dreams. No one died. I didn't slaughter any of you. <laughs> Quiet, you! I've got nothing for you to eat right now. You will feed me. Oh. Who you uh, talking to, big guy? Uh, no, the the trees. <laughs> yeah, Caleb <Keyleth> taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with the termites, mm-hmm. tree. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just gonna go over here. Getting more used to it? About to get used to a relic of the goddess of death. Still, hmm. you have her vestige now. Maybe you could ask her for help. Ask the matron of ravens. Somehow I doubt she'd listen. Have you tried? You could try. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that does not look good. Was that one of the dragons? I was cold as a corpse. And I'd rather not repeat that experience. Yeah, I've been that. Mm. Oh, no, Aww. Percy, I didn't mean... No, please take Aww. it. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I like cold. <laughs> Makes my nipples tingly. So, uh, how are you doing, buddy? Because, you know, lately, you've been real fixated on... Oh, yeah, just a sec, Pike. <sighs> Oh, oh, hey, Grog, what are you Don't you worry, Scanlan. Uncle Grog is going to keep I, you. I, don't smoke! <laughs> 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 this is actually kind of cool. Yeah. Mm. Grog, In a Goliath's bosom. To... Oh, you want a bouncy? Come on. <laughs> yeah, he's doing any everything he can to not avoid. talk about it. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I always find a creepy one, birds point uh, like that. But I wonder if eventually or if he can this now? see through raven's eyes Ooh. ancient runes i believe i can read some of it <laughs> of course you can mm. and roll the seekers i think or fools this land no flee this land it's a bit of a difference there percy yeah from paradise oh wow look at them all yeah What are they marking? Maybe if I have to touch them all or go around them all. Cool. Oh. Uh, that don't look like no door. I think that's the point. Hidden. Oh. That is coming or what? <laughs> I love Kayla's new outfit. Mm. Uh, anybody home? <laughs> What is this okay. place? <laughs> a temple. An old one. Built before the divergence of 
for the calamity between men and gods. Mm. Oh. How do you know all this? I just. Just know. know. Oh, I love that, that little, the little shimmer. Yeah. Great design. Oh, but hey, yeah. she wasn't like with anybody else if you're worried. Come on, Chubb Scanlon. You must prove your worth in the challenge. challenge. Yes, we sort of assumed. <laughs> Conquer the 70 death gorgons. Survive the endless labyrinth of misery. Or wound me. Sorry. What? Back up. Did you say wound you? Your challenge is to inflict an injury. Any wound will do. Doesn't have to be Any physical. Any wound doesn't have to be physical. Just yeah. a sec. <laughs> Guys, death gorgon so cool as fuck. Let's do that one. <laughs> what? No. Wound the Sphinx. That dude is as old as time and he's never... Scanlan already kind of went there a bit. Mm. Any one of us should be able to land a single hit for fuck's sake. Oh. Okay, your Sphinxness. Sphinx... Sphinxiness. wound you. A shame. The Gorgons have been itching for a battle. <laughs> mm. Very well then. This is going to be interesting. Oh, we're in another dimension. Oh. Fashion. Yeah. Each of you will have a chance to wound me in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Who dares go first? Ooh. Mm. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I thought it might siphon off him. Yep. That's what I said at the end of the last episode. Yep. The Death Walker's Ward. You've been touched by the matron of ravens. What do you know about that? A heavy burden being the matron's champion. Fortunately for you, you live long enough to feel its weight. Oh, oh, oh shit. shit. Your brother lives, but he will fall in the void forever. <laughs> unless one of you can succeed. Damn! Is next. God damn, that's a that's a <laughs> Yeah, that's a harsh penalty if they fail. You have no family left. Oh damn! Again, I don't think I don't think brute force is the answer here. Oh look! Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You know not where your strength comes. From. Yep. The Sphinx is the Sphinx isn't attacking. It's defending. Yep. And it's it's disorientating them by saying attack to to feel pain. Yeah, but it's it's making comments about their fears and yeah. Maybe maybe maybe, maybe he'll forget about me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Scanlan. And you, all jokes and no heart. I wonder how you convinced Osisa to put her faith in you or not. Osisa. Osisa. Before mm -hmm. you vanquish me, oh mighty Sphinx, allow me a moment of utter sincerity. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold outside, and you're not alright. I wish you could see her. Yeah. Play to his loneliness. Yep. Thousands of years. As the days go by. <laughs> <laughs> Power ballad. Yeah.
That's a really pretty song. That was really lovely. Oh. You have done what no other has before. Because of you, I feel pain. Oh. You have wounded my heart. You gotta be shitting me. That works. I did it. I did it. But a mortal could possess the wisdom to understand. You must know true love in your life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, gals, anyone in between? <laughs> so much love in my life. I have no one. And and the thing is, I really, I want it. I just can't seem to get it right. Perhaps you need to stop looking for love. Oh. And let love find oh, you. you. Huh. It's, it's mm. good. Scanlon was singing from his own heart. That yeah. was nice. Oh. In my millennia of existence, this is the wisest sage I've ever known. Aww. <laughs> He's gonna tell us where all the other vestiges are. Not quite, wise one. You will reveal them yourselves. With this. Ooh. Ooh. Big sword. The vestige known as Myth Carver. Connected Ooh. to all myths and legends, including the other vestiges. Oh! Myth cover show me <laughs> something good. Whoa, there's a weird sky, pink mountains, and a crazy forest with upside down waterfalls. That's so yeah. nice. It sounds sort of like the Fey Realm. Ooh. Oh, I see something inside this gnarly tree. It's like a bow. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It's some badass looking bow. Is it bad? Isn't about? the Fey Realm on another plane of existence? That's inconvenient. Hmm. A shift spell could get us there, but I I, had a plane it, it might not yeah. work. It's Western, and it's been invaded. There's a bunch of dudes who look like Grog. Yeah, the glass. One's got a vestige, big giant gauntlets. They're glowing. Uh, it's probably not important. <laughs> okay, what is going on? Spill with it. Yeah. We're not alone. I'm afraid you've been followed. Yeah. Oh no. no. Everyone get down. Dragon. Yeah, it's a dragon. Aww. Aww. Good Sphinx. Oh, it's the acid one. Yep. Yes. The woman was right. You Ooh. have my thanks, gnome. For Ooh. finding me a vestige. Go Sphinx. Ooh, go Sphinx. Having issues yeah. trying to defeat it. Let's out of here. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh yes. yes. Not yes, though, because it's. It's driving him. Yeah, his yeah. bloodlust is increasing a lot. No. No, 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 no. no. Oh. 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 No, not Scanlan! Oh, thank God it's alive, though. Nice. Is, this, is it oh, a self-sacrifice, no. though? It's a self-sacrifice! No! No, no the, the sword! No! No to all of this! No! <laughs> Sword. The vestige is mine. Nothing can stop the Chrome of Conclave. Least of all you. I hunger for blood. Oh. Shit. <laughs> no, get away. Come meet. 
Oh, it's so cool. Damn. Though. He's, He's going like full. Oh. He's doing damage. Everyone get close. Scanlon, Pike, get in there. Buddy. Unless they get separated. No, don't get separated. Yeah, that did that hurt. Grog, we gotta go. Get away, Pike. Grog. What are you doing? We gotta leave. No. Grog, no. Yeah, they're separating. Oh no. What happened to Pike? Where is she? Where are they going then? I don't know. Where are we? So they've gone to the Fae realm. <sighs> the emotions! You okay? Oh. Pike's your favourite, isn't she? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I hope she's okay. I hope. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> my boy. My boy got your girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. No, not coping with this. Not coping with that at all. Not coping. Oh. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> well, one th okay. One thing I'm loving about the episodes is that they're using the start to loop around to later on. Yes. Do, do you need to, do you no. need a second? I, I need a moment. It's fine. You need a moment. It's all good. You good? Yep. Okay. Yep. I yeah, looping around um later on in the episode, mm. like we got the foreshadowing of Grog and the giant in, in the Colosseum, you know, enjoying the bloodlust that Craven's Edge is giving him. Mm. And, yeah, coming around to him st stabbing Pike, Pike, which was the biggest fear. And, you know, the fact that he has been, is withdrawn. Well, he's not really withdrawn, but he's avoiding talking about what's plaguing him. And, you know, the, they are on, like, the, the group knows something's up with him, but could it have been avoided if he had have just said, the sword's talking to me? Mm. I'm sure... Logic would have come to say, hey, that don't, thing's evil. Don't trust the talking sword. Yeah, it came from a freaking vampire. Don't yeah. don't trust the sword. Yeah. As much as I love that sword. It, it, it is it is great. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh dear. But no, a lot of good character growth. And I, I said I said during the opening credits, um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be included in the actual editor reaction, but I said in the opening credits that we hadn't had much of Scanlan. We haven't had much development on Scanlan. Yeah. And, he and he's is played too. a pivotal and it, pivotal role. Pivotal role. And showing the how this hodgepodge group seems to be put together, they work really well because mm. they each bring something quite unique and quite needed. Yeah. And Scanlan's, yeah, over sexualized, ignore it. Horny boy. Everything's horny, like I'm a joke. I'll just crack jokes about how cold my balls are. Mm. But he does no pain. He does no love. And that shining through in that song to, as we picked immediately, as, as it was said, someone needs to make me feel pain. Yeah. It doesn't have, doesn't to, have be to be physical. physical pain. And that's one of the themes that's been running through this season is that a lot of the, a lot of the growth and a lot of the development doesn't necessarily have to be strength based in mm. terms of physique or muscle or yep. power. It can, power is also internal. Yes. It's, it's what Grog's searching for. He's looking to fortify his mind. And the, where does his strength come from? He keeps guessing wrong. Yep. The and, Sphinx called him out again, on it again. And again, the Sphinx called him out on it again. You have no idea where your strength actually comes from. And and the same with Vax. You could argue that Vax, his strength comes from the love for his sister mm. and wanting to protect her. And that's built him up to, you know, make the ultimate sacrifice and become essentially um, 
essentially walking death, mm. which, again, the Sphinx alludes that there's more for him to discover. Yes. And as Keyleth said, th- there's a lot of just, if they had have asked questions and spoken about it, yep. it could have been possibly... If you have a good form of communication yeah. and everyone is talking, not no one will die. Positive communication. But no, that it's there. There are consistent themes throughout the season and the episodes that I'm really enjoying, mm. and it's really helping build up for people who don't know what happened in Campaign One. We're not being spoon fed anything. We mm. are just observing and learning as we go on. But it's done in such a it's, way that it's not. It's not being fed to us. We're just. It's done in such a yeah. good story, like in such good storytelling, where there there is some predictability to it we can predict we can predict that oh you're not talking about physical pain you're talking about emotional pain but, but i could then, see them doing a swerve on it as well but you could see a swerve come in as well and then the swerve in the character development yeah. as well i'm not <laughs> but um well, i said last episode and that came came true about grog what if grog feeds him what if grog feeds what if uh, yeah. grog cuts himself and feeds him blood he's like we saw the arm Become, completely deteriorate. Yeah, yep. like he sucked the power and the life essence from Grog. So mm. he's get the the sword is getting more aggressive and more brazen and more in demanding. the demands. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really really good. Um, yeah, as much as I love that sword, it, it's trouble. But no, we got some good development with Scanlan, uh, and playing again off the previous episode where Ripley made the deal with the dragon. The dragon yep. came and. The dragon Unfortunately, con- decimated the Sphinx. The dragon confirmed as well that she knew. Mm. And there's not many kind of she's that they need to point to where we'll yeah. be like, well, who would go to a dragon? So that's going to be interesting to see if Percy yeah, can Percy's... if Percy can make that link as well. But the Sphinx. Yeah, that was beautiful. That song, that song that Sam sung was absolutely beautiful. And I know, I know, I, I liked the the corniness of the power ballad, but the, the lyrics were really quite nice and the visuals of like mm. the astral dancing between the two of them, just yeah. the starry, the starry sky of the void that the Sphinx had put them in mm. and the, and the temple, it, it really made the actual emotional resonance much more stronger. Yes. And, you know, just the vision of the night sky with, with them dancing and well, the Sphinx yeah. looking up, just really zoomed out to make the Sphinx look small, but the love that they had really... Yeah really bloom and the color was vibrant it was Very lovely. it was good and as as you said scanlan knows love he he uses his innuendo as kind of a crutch because mm. he's he's he wants love but whether it's fear of finding someone or not knowing how or you know the the no what the other sphinx said mm. what Assisa said of the no one no one cares about you no one likes yeah. you and you know that's that's got to be his fear but to have that that moment and the connection that even though it was so short, you could see just how much the Sphinx and Scanlan bonded mm. in the way they're positioned. He's Scanlan's curled up yeah. and playing his playing his um immediate best friends. Lute. <laughs> yeah, immediate ukulele, um, guitar, lute uh lute? Yeah. Lute. Yeah, playing his lute. Yeah, and they, they, they bonded immediately and you saw when they they had a connection because they both wanted love, mm. and it's the connection that love brings. Ugh, I feel bad. Ugh, I feel dirty saying that. <laughs> love, what is love? Baby, don't, don't hurt me. me. I was so, so glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it's it really was as as sad as the ending was. Some excellent messaging. Yes. Throughout, definitely. And we're already seeing more development of um, Keyless Power using the the like she's already using the fire. Mm. And the ability to shift through planes. Yeah. So, and they've made it to the fairy realm. And yeah. just because of the time rush that she got put under place, the other the the group is now separated. We have Pike severely injured. And where did they go? And where did they go? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a blue kind of blue portal and a yellow portal. Hopefully they're... And they're without a healer. And they're without a healer. Yeah. Because Grog can't heal. Nor can he or Pike and Scanlan yeah, can't. Scanlan can't either. So hopefully they've gone somewhere. <laughs> hopefully they've gone somewhere where there's healers or priests or something or, like that. Uh, maybe Keyleth had a connection in the a, a last ditch of a control last ditch to push to, them to push them towards yeah, somewhere to that would them allow them. But no, that was a great ending. 
And it also, Percy saying, where are we? Scanlan's the only one who's who's seen the Fey realm yeah. through the sword. Which That's all the sword. The, the sword is now with the, the dragon. dragon. So not only are they searching for the vestiges, one's in possession of the a dragon king. and one's in possession of a Goliath, which Grog seemed very... Who Grog knew. Yeah, which Grog seemed knew like the same one that was in the um, dream. Well, we haven't really learned much about Grog's backstory. No, not yet. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see whether Grog has never really been this lust blood lusty murderous, murderous rampage. rampaging person where he enjoys it but he's not gonna seek it because it that looks makes sense yeah because it looks like they're in were they in the same place the dragon was last time that decimated town kind of looked like it looked like a decimated town it was on fire because if that's if that's the case what if mm. what if the goliaths go around to each town and pillage and plunder and the yeah. town and they just happened to stumble upon one no, that the dragon was attacking and yeah like, yeah or was in the town when it was attacked by the dragon as yeah. they were pillaging because it because it very much looked like the goliaths were invading that town and just destroying everything so yeah. is that it I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that's a trait of just Gol- um sure of grog's clan or goliath's nature mm. but that'll be that'll be very interesting to see so we've we've set up a couple of big things to deal with in the final six episodes. Mm. So we'll we'll be dealing with the the split up to begin with. How are they going to be showing that? Is that going to be cutting between scenes, kind of like mm. what happened on Pike's journey last season, the, where she was yeah. going to the priest? So we've got the split up between them. We know of two vestiges at least. Yep. One well, that's for one that's for Vex and one that's labeled one that's Vex for Grog. and one that's for Grog. And we've still got to get the other vestige from the dragon to find the others. Yeah. And that dragon got lot. Grog. Grog did some damage he to that dragon. He did some damage to it, and like I loved that little uh, detail of, especially with dragon lore in particular. I know it's probably different for D and D, but once you break that armor and you can find a place to hook into a dragon mm. to just like disembowel the underbelly. It's the of same it. as same as Lord of the Rings, where same they're as Lord firing the Rings, into that one, one that one that scale that got loose. Yep, I I yeah. love that law in dragons. Yeah, but no, that's well, actually that could be a big thing with um Thordak and that gem. And that ge- that's yeah. what I was just thinking. Um, it no, may be a strong point, but it also may be a very weak point if you yeah, pop it out. Yeah, like a pimple. Um, the yeah, very a very good episode. Very good. Very good. I, I am going to go cry again <laughs> again yeah. oh that was that was great just yeah just the the build up to it as well with pike you know trying to con- trying to say grog come come and you know being pushed back to, pushed back and yeah. she tried a few times and just his aggression and his demeanor and he's covered in blood oh yeah that was great anyway was. tell us your thoughts on episode six in the comments i'm trent i'm julia and as always keep, keep it, it nerdy, nerdy.